registration and uh, the last time y'all boarded this um, paperwork. Can we also have your driver's license? Yeah. Where y'all trying to go to? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that one don't work. Hold on. Welcome back, Texas All Water Fishing. I am Ruben. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share the video. Leave a comment if you have one. I just got off the water with Tim and Bethel, and I'm getting my stuff together for the morning. For in the morning, I am going out with Patreon Steve on his boat, uh, probably accompanied by a friend of his, John. So we're probably gonna fish a little bit around the Chip Channel area and a little bit around West Bay. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna start the day throwing and I'm just tying it on right now, just getting my stuff together for in the morning, is I'm gonna be throwing one of these wedge tails. This is Inger Bait Chicken on the Chain. I fish with them a lot. I, I do, I fish with them some. I do like them a lot. So I'm gonna be tying that off, probably paired up with a Texas rattling jig head. We're probably also gonna stop and get some live shrimp. Fish around the Galveston area, fish around West Bay, probably hit up a few docks, few boat slips, and just fish the area pretty, pretty hard. Looking for some speckled trout. It is winter time. Those specks have been kind of hanging out in some of the areas I just discussed. Thanks for clicking on the video and wish me luck, fingers crossed. Hopefully you catch us hooking up. Thanks. There we go, 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 come on baby, get up there. Oh, that's a keeper. Maybe. I always say that. It's always a keeper until I put it on the board. <laughs> Hold on. He looks all right. No, that one looks big. That might might work. That one keeps. Do you have your my, whippers? Yeah, that's you my go. guess. Let's check them out. Look at that. Let's look at them. Look. I got them on my hip. Look at that, baby. Big old wedge tail. Got that Inger bait wedge tail on today. The wedge tail and the Texas rattle jig head. There we go. Chicken of the sea. Let's check them out. Let's slap them on here. What? 16. 15 and a half, 15 almost. And a half. 15 and a half with a pinch tail. You keeping today? Yeah. I'll keep, yeah. All right. I'm not keeping. I'm just catching. Hopefully. I say that. Can't get too cocky. That was just the first one. <laughs> that might be the last. I can't get too cocky. I'm, like, I'm not keeping. I'm just catching. <laughs> After casting and casting it with no luck, we decided to leave the area and head out across the bay. We even ran into my buddy, Cody Dunn. Throw some beads! <laughs> Where your beads at? Huh? Yeah. Fishing! Not catching? No, I, well, I caught, we caught two. Trout. We caught a couple. Box. Okay. We caught a couple by the marina when the yacht basin. Yeah. What are you doing? Taking the docks. Coming to work today? Sure all my lines are good and all that good stuff. You decided to come to work today? This is Steve and John. John, Cody Dunn. On, guys. How you doing? After visiting with Captain Cody for a few minutes, we got back moving to fish the area and see if we can land some specklers. Casting and casting, pitching at boat docks, pitching at boat slips, pitching in boat cuts. We didn't see any kind of bait, no fish activity whatsoever. So we decided to go back and head back to the area that we started and everything was going good nice smooth sailing beautiful beautiful day until we heard a siren and somebody saying pull over registration and uh the last time y'all boarded this um, paperwork can we also have your driver's license yeah all right um what else 
You need to see three life jackets when you start pulling uh, that yes, stuff sir. out. You need to see three life jackets. You need a radio. I've got a radio. Uh, I'm not worried about the radio, but if um, you can show me your fire extinguisher and then uh, some type of sound signal device. Y'all enjoying the day? Oh, yes, sir. Right? Before it gets bad again? <laughs> Warmed up a little bit. I know, right? Last two days has been nice. Can't find any fish though. Yeah. No? Nope. Oh. Nope. Um, of course, you get the copy from underneath, but um, y'all be safe and y'all have a good day, sir. Yeah, all right, thank you guys. So Appreciate y'all. Steve had all his stuff together, did a quick checks. Coast Guard, appreciate you. And they let us go back on our way, back to fishing, heading back to the area that we started out. I'm even going to put on it some live shrimp, have a four horseman cork, about a three foot leader line, 20 pound Yozuri leader line, and I'm going to see if I can catch anything. I haven't hooked up to anything since early this morning, and at this point, I just need to feel the tug. Short biting. Still there. there he goes. I let him take it that time. I waited for him. No more short bites. Little trout. No. Sandy. Sandy trout. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Look like a whitey. He came out of the water. Oh, it's a sandy. Ugh. That's a big old fat sand trout. Goodness. Is that a yeah, it's a big one. Big old fat one. Are they still playing or what? Right, no yeah, commentating. I remember the I remember the lucky blue and all that and the song and yeah. right. There we oh, go. What you got? got one. It's a nice one. Oh, there, we go. there we go. Right back where John was casting. John, I cast right where you were at. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's, like it's a sand trout. It is a big sand trout. You better take this one home. I'm curious. He's 14 almost. 14. I'm telling you, 13 and a half, 14. I got him. Look at that big old 14 incher. Close to 14 is sandy. That's a big one. Oh, I'm down. There we go. Gotcha. Right on that wall. That's a nice trout. Oh, he's probably like, he might be slot. I feel him shaking the heck out of his head, though. He is shaking, shaking right on that wall. No, no, he's small. I'm going to try to come right at you, John. Well, he might keep. Oh, there we go. He might squeak out 15. Not as thick as the not as thick as that sand trout earlier though. Oh, he just missed 15. Just missed 15. Got him? Yeah. Oh, oh. Dang it. Something's pulling a mine. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Keep it. No, he didn't keep it. Dang it. Little. Little guys. Short biting. Little guy, short biting. Let's see. I got a half a shrimp. See if he bite it again. There he goes. There we go. Got him that time. Oh, that's a nice one. I might need the net on this one. Ugh. Big head shakes. Oh, 
that a nice red he might he might not make it he might not be 20 but i know he's 15. <laughs> <laughs> he's a keeper trout he's a keeper trout red why are you biting my my line for i was fishing for a trout bro you're not supposed to the first red i've seen i've caught out really You're a little fat guy. You're eating good, huh? Stop spinning. There we go. I don't think so. I'm a, I'll put him on the board, though. I don't think he's going to be a keeper, though. He is. It's close. He's fat, though. Where was he? Right there. Just by the wall. Same, same place as these... Uh, what well, the trout was. Nope, he's 18. How, how big they gotta be? 20. They gotta be 20? Yeah. So he's not, he's not quite. You, you, you had me fooled though, buddy. I thought you were a trout. I was excited. Get bigger. Get bigger, boy. Get bigger. Real, real, real. There you go. Oh, Speckler. Hey. John, push your button. There you go, John. That's a wall hanger. Yeah. That, that and some crackers, and we might have you a snack. Yeah. Yeah, well, that is going to do it. You know, I appreciate everybody having me out on their boat the last two days. You know, went out with Tim and Betha yesterday and it, you know it was a tough tough bite or really almost no bite you know and then i went out today with steve and john on steve's boat and again another tough bite you know that is just it you know that's that's how it is a lot you know you have these fronts that come in and they'll push the water out and misses up the bite uh, the strong winds will miss up the water clarity the fresh water from the rain will miss up the water as well and then it scatters the fish and then it'll warm back up so the fish is going from being really cold to being really warm with uh, very low tides and you know they get scattered there's not there hasn't been a much of a pattern uh, that I found lately so you know but it's a tough bite I, I had a good time though I love going out fishing with friends viewers patreons subscribers whatever you want to call them i just i love going out fishing with different people fishing on their boat it's a blast you know and it, it hasn't produced the last couple days like like uh, like we all had hope but hey you know that's part of the game that's part of fishing but i do appreciate you guys thanks for watching i appreciate each and every one of you don't forget if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe today like the video leave a comment share the video all of that helps tremendously and yeah it was a long two days man but you know what i love it i love to bring new new and fresh content to you guys and entertain y'all a little bit so uh don't forget to mash that like button uh, if you will like i said it helps out a lot and hopefully next time you catch me hooking up and hopefully that'll be very soon thanks